Population control. Population control. What's going on, family? Welcome back to another Real Talk with your boy, JT. I pray that everybody's having a wonderful, blessed day on this blessed Sabbath as we off top give the Holy Spirit all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship and reverence. You know, I've been watching for years uh, what's really going on in this world. And once again, this is just a Real Talk video. And um, Sister Ashley, I'm responding back to your email. And that's why I want to kind of do this updated video on population control. If you scroll through my page, you'll see me off the time doing videos like this. Population control, Agenda 21, um, the book of Revelation. This is why I love the book of Revelation so much. And it's not the revelation of John, but the revelation of Yahshua. And this is why when you read the Bible and study and understand it real closely, we have to understand the four horsemen in the spiritual way. And I always used to say in my old videos, the horses are riding. When you look at more and more babies, especially being born out of wedlock, y'all know who I'm talking about, the ones that's always in control, um, that, that owns everything. They're always talking about population control, how to depopulate. Just read between the lines on what I'm saying. Especially those, those of you who really know what I'm talking about, and you know who I'm talking about. They're always coming up with vaccines and viruses and, and things. Um, the media will always promote fear and lies. Scare tactics. But when more and more babies are being born, they have estimated now that there's about a billion people every 12 years on this earth. They always talk about how messed up the earth is. So when you got billions of people every 12 years, think about that. You got to have more and more food more and more water, more and more everything. And you wonder why the bills are sky high. The cost of living is sky high. You go in the grocery store, you're always paying more and getting less. On most jobs, nobody hardly want to give you a raise. See, there's an old song Marvin Gaye did back in the day called Inner City Blues, one of my favorites. Don't just listen at the beat. It's a beautiful song, but it's keeping it real. If you understand the lyrics in that song and how long ago it was wrote, when you understand the war, when you understand religion, when you understand prison, all this is a business, especially private penitentiaries. I'm just throwing all this in together. So when you look at the four horsemen in the Bible, you're looking at, what are we living in? Some things have happened. Some things has not happened. Because you got war. You got famine. You got pestilence. You got death. Schools are more and more getting overcrowded. Shortage in teachers. Dallas Police Department is always complaining about how they don't really pay the officers enough money. I don't care where you work at, what you do, if you're not really just wealthy, if you're not really rich, rich excuse me, it's hard right now. I was just telling my beautiful wife yesterday as we were talking, when you feel like you just stuck, you feel like you're making 10 steps forward and 40 steps backwards because of what we living in. But for those who are following the Holy Spirit, don't he still take care of us? Mm. More and more babies being born, more and more, they're going to keep trying to, they're not trying, they're doing it. Depopulate. And we living right here in the middle of it. And you wonder why there's so much going on about abortion. Think about the most high. The Most High Yahuwah showed us and told us in his word to be fruitful and multiply, not with no any and everybody, 
but do it his way, according to his will. Him that find a wife find a good thing, and y'all show his favor on that. But a lot of people just having sex. I hate to say this about my race of people, and it, it, it's not just my race, but we stick out very bad. More and more single moms. More and more mothers. I mean this out of love. Ladies, don't get mad and take this the wrong way. I'm just stating facts. More and more single women need the government assistance. I can understand you getting pregnant the first time. But when you start keep getting pregnant by that same dude you talking so bad about, and he done got you pregnant four or five times, three or four times, it's something wrong. And the more the government keeps giving you, the more and more the government will try their best to control you. They want you to depend on them because there is no covenant. Come on, teach Holy Spirit. There is no covenant with the Holy Spirit, you and the husband. That's There's you and the government. So you growing up, your children growing up, and, and all they see is you depend. I'm not talking about everybody. Trust me, y'all. But they see you depending on the government. And the more and the more you got to keep depending on this system, it messes with your faith. Hmm. But I got, it ain't just you. Most of these black churches are dependent on the government. You take up all this money and put it in these banks. And look at how many churches done had the foreclosures. Money, money, man. All the money been taken in and going to somebody else. It never supposed to be in the government getting off in the church like that. But you got man's way and you got Yahweh. I love to see churches that's real and, and teaching sound doctrine and do not follow 501c3. They don't have to go government status. They don't have to have the government in their business. But that's a whole other video. Got that up too. And you wonder why they want to stop the immigration. So what are we living in? More diseases? <laughs> so when they come out with this, come out with that, they're going to tell you, take this, take that. Look at how many people that have been killed off. Mm. This is why I love the series on Snowfall when it, it just ended not too long ago. But I love shows that tell the truth on the CIA government. See, who brings this stuff over here? Mm. Where did the dope come from? Where did these diseases really come from? And why is it they always flood out the hoodest, the hoodest era in the black neighborhoods? The projects, the ghetto. Why is it? And I'm not trying to be funny. My race of people is always targeted. As they always say, the black and brown brothers. Or the blacks and the Latinos. See, I love, I, I don't have no problem with color. I love, period. Because I have a whole lot of Latino people I'm, I love. A whole lot that I'm cool with. A whole lot of people, period, that I'm cool with. It's just when I speak facts like this, it gets underneath people's skin because I know plenty of Latinos would have struggled. Some of them struggled worse than we did. When we get along. Indians who struggle. White folks who was poorer than some black folks I know. White folks that I grew up with, who didn't eat, who, it wasn't a whole lot of them, but quite a few of them that I know and went to school with was poor as I don't know what. So I'm not trying to make this sound like a black thing, and that's not my intention. I'm just stating facts about my people. But Snowfall shows the truth. Plant this over there. Plant this over there. And I hate to say this about my people. And we've been kidding our own kind with this dope for years. I don't care who get mad looking at this video. Truth hurt. How you go sell dope to your own partner down the street you call Neighbor, crackhead. And it just get worse and worse and worse. 
and then you get locked up for selling it, and then they give you what? A background, which make it hard for you to get a job, or you're going to get something paying hard and none, because the penitentiary is a business. You can't have no empty penitentiary room, nobody in that bed, somebody will catch that later. Them private penitentiaries. So we got this. Let's get cheap labor in here. Let's take this over. Pay them a quarter. Pay them 10 cents. Pay them 50 cents. Pay them maybe a dollar. Why they out there slaving? Prison, a business. Religion, business. War, business. That's why you always see the patterns. The starvation. Here it come again. And then next thing you know, they're going to have another what they so-called government shutdown. See, when I talk like this, there's only a few people going to catch it and understand it. And then somebody going to hit me up later on saying, dang, JT, you, you were saying this stuff. You know, I've been saying this stuff for years because it's right in front of our face. The horses is riding. And that's why you're going to continue to see what's going on with the groceries, the water. We talked about the chemtrails a long time ago. And that's why I asked y'all the question. As I close, I'm going to ask the same question again. Why do you think Bill Gates is buying up all that land? Why? I'll leave you with that. Shalom.